going to increase the size of the current system. We've got 28 kilowatt hours here sat on these packs. Now, they're called cubes for a reason. They come in little sections and you can stack them up. The minimum you can have is eight. As you can see here, what you have is a BMS with four kilowatts and you have the slave. That's a slave, that's the BMS. Now, the cable they supply is, this is just reaches, but doesn't matter because this is temporary. So this has been wired in, it's working. It's been working for about a week. What I'm gonna do now is increase the size of this yet again. So this is 28 kilowatt hours and this is eight. I'm gonna add two more fours. So I'm gonna have error eight. So we're gonna have 16 kilowatt hours here plus the 28. So we're gonna power it down. So I'm gonna turn off the inverter like that. Off it goes, power off the batteries like so. Move these bits out of the way. Keep them all nice and clean and tidy. And um, what will have to happen is because two new units are going in, is I need to adjust the, uh, what's it called, dip? Dip, I think it's called, dip, yep, correct. Didn't want to get it wrong. I need to up it because we're adding two packs to it, essentially. Now it's incredibly difficult to see because of the wiring. Let's just stay. Uh, stay. stay. Can I get my head in here and have a look? So, there we are. Two, there we go. That's now adjusted and put back on. Get them all dirty. Right. A load of foam. Okay, this is a slave, that's what it looks like. Let me take this out. Okay. So, that is what one cube looks like, a slave. A bit narrower than the other ones. One light, one that's LED on it. They just slot, so you can bolt them in, ultimately, but they just lift off. You undo this, like that. I can then just lift this off, you see? It just comes off, and the other ones bolt on. Ooh, gently, gently, gently. Gently, Bentley. You take this off, like so. Get around like that. We're then gonna slot that on. Over the top. So that's that one. That's another four kilowatts added to the system. Gonna add another four now. take that out completely and I'm going to tidy that up by putting it down that way makes it look a bit neater okay that's in so what we do is we power on the charger so this is a AC charger and we power on the battery packs so inverter charger power that on And then it'll boot up like so. And we have the packs in, easy as that. So there we go, that's what it looks like now. We have got all those packs sat up there, lovely. And let's see what she reads out, state of charge, 98 currently. Should boot up all okay. There we are, just gonna check for 49 seconds and I'll come back to you. Hmm. And there we go, it's all booted up, completely normal, 98% state of charge, sweet. And it is as easy as that. So if I wanted to, I could stack more on there, if I wanted to, um, which is very likely. Look at this. Um, but as you can see from these, they're all sat there, lovely. Now, the interesting thing is with the Fox system is that actually, technically, 
I'm one too many on that one because the incremental increases in voltage. So I'm nine volts out. Supposedly because that does 450 volts approximately. Uh, and this does uh, 459. It requires 459. So really I might, what I might do is swap that one there and put it onto this pack here uh, to level them out. Um, so they get a potential, we're gonna monitor it and see what happens in terms of how much charge it does actually take. If it's down, then obviously we'll adjust it. But we've got room and scope to do that now with this, but because of their data sheet, you wouldn't necessarily know that, but that actually should be paired up slightly different than this. You wouldn't know because it says, ah oh, no, you can have up to 28, which is what we've got there. Um, but yeah, there we go. It's as easy as that with the Fox system to start building another pack along. Obviously, you have to purchase that. <laughs> you have to purchase that. Master and slave. Master and a slave as a starter pack. Then I could just bolt another couple on there if I wanted to. So there we go. Easy as that. So I now have just over 44 kilowatt hours of house battery storage, which paired with the 10 kilowatt system. In summer, I'm gonna start making more use of grabbing that power and I can also store more off from the off-peak energy as well. So economy seven for as long as that may last or may not last um, over the next couple of years. Uh, but of course with this as well, the good thing with this is I can put five kilowatts into this pack there. And also, I could put another five kilowatts into this pack. So if they were both 28, for example, if that's what I was gonna do, I can put five kilowatts continuous into these packs to charge them individually. Whereas if you get what I'm saying, this whole pack here will take that whole pack at 28. If I halved it, took some off of this and split between here, both can have five. So essentially 10 combined um, going into these individual packs. So that's another benefit actually of having this also Remember, not only input, but also output. With them both combined at the same time, you've got 10 kilowatt of output. Um, this doesn't feed back to the grid, so it's completely isolated from the grid. Um, so it's that one, the DNO. This is lim it's all limited by this in terms of its output to the grid. Um, so there's a CT clamp here, which monitors the export, which there is none. It's all set to zero and it won't export. Um, all controlled by this little one and this itself. So looking good here, there we go, see you on the next one.